Prime Minister Narendra Modi has promised to guide India towards becoming a developed country by 2047. Part of Modi's vision involves transforming India into a trillion-dollar economy and making the country a military powerhouse. Accordingly, over the last several years, the Indian military has seen a rapid transformation. This includes improving high-level military partnerships with countries like the US, increasing the usage of indigenous defense equipment, and ramping up defense spending. It also involves a steady projection of India's military power, including the maintenance and establishment of overseas military bases. Currently, India has over 10 overseas military bases, which serve to protect the country's borders, secure maritime traffic, and enhance rescue efforts in conflict and disaster-hit regions. India has three bases strategically located on its borders with Afghanistan, Pakistan, and China. In the Central Asian country of Tajikistan, India maintains two air bases, the Farkhor Air Base in the Tajik capital Dushanbe and the Hisar Air Base in the village of Aini, which is close to Dushanbe. Both bases are located not too far from Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, a territory that India considers sovereign. For example, the Hisar base is only 20 kilometers away from POK, which would allow the Indian Air Force to conduct raids in Pakistan's main cities like Peshawar and Islamabad if the need arises. Although the exact number of Indian military personnel stationed here is unclear, according to reports, India maintains a fleet of Su-30 MKI fighter jets in Hisar. The base was also used during Operation Devi Shakti, in which the Indian Air Force deployed transport aircraft from Hisar to rescue Indians from Afghanistan following the Taliban's return to power in 2021. While Farkhor was specifically used as an airbase since the early 2000s, India's external intelligence agency RAW also used it for intelligence gathering during the 90s. Additionally, India had set up a military hospital at Farkhor to treat Afghan Northern Alliance fighters, including military leader Ahmad Shah Massoud, who were injured while fighting the Taliban. India also maintains an unspecified number of personnel at the Indian Military Training Team or IMTRAT in Bhutan. IMTRAT provides military training to the Bhutanese armed forces and is located close to the Chinese border. Furthermore, the commander of IMTRAT advises the King of Bhutan on all defense and security related matters as Bhutan does not have a defense minister. India also has bases aimed at protecting its maritime interests. In 2007, India activated its first listening post on foreign soil in Madagascar. It is complete with radar and surveillance equipment and is believed to be part of the Indian Navy's strategy to protect India's commercial sea lanes. The station reportedly links up with naval facilities in Kochi and Mumbai to gather intelligence on foreign navies operating in the region. The station was established to counter China's increasing influence in the Indian Ocean and monitor piracy and terrorism threats. India also has a naval base in Dukum in Oman. Located near the Strait of Hormuz, Gulf of Oman and Arabian Sea regions in the Indian Ocean, the geostrategic importance of Dukum is profound. The base allows the maintenance, repair and overhaul as well as berthing, fuel and rest facilities to Indian Navy ships. This could be vital for ships responding to threats in the Persian Gulf, Red Sea and Horn of Africa regions. Additionally, according to Indian media reports, New Delhi has a listening post in Ras al Had, and the Navy has berthing rights at the Muscat Naval Base in Oman. India has constructed a network of coastal surveillance radars in the island country of Seychelles in the Indian Ocean. In 2018, India and Seychelles agreed to begin work on the construction of a naval base in Assumption Island. In this way, India aims to counter China, protect maritime traffic arriving via the Cape of Good Hope, and monitor security threats in the region. India is also believed to operate a base from Agalega Island in Mauritius. However, the base's construction remains controversial and is opposed by a section of the population. Regardless, the base is important for Indian security interests as it removes a blind spot of the Navy in the Indian Ocean, especially regarding surveillance. According to an Al Jazeera report, the most important feature of the base is a 3,000-meter runway built to support maritime aircraft like the Boeing P-8 which has surveillance and anti-submarine capabilities. In 2017, the Indian Navy got access to the Changi Naval Base in Singapore. Enabling ships to receive logistical support and refuel, the base would allow the Indian Navy to ramp up operations near the Strait of Malacca, which is the busiest strait in the world. Moreover, around 80% of Chinese oil imports pass through the strait. 
making India's presence a point of concern for China. The bases in Singapore, Mauritius, Madagascar, Oman and Seychelles are believed to be part of India's necklace of diamond strategy to counter China's string of pearls which encircles the Indian subcontinent. Furthermore, India has major stakes in Iran's Chabahar port, Sri Lanka's Hambantota port and in the Maldives where Indian troops are stationed. When viewed in a larger context, the locations of India's overseas bases indicate a clear pattern of countering major rivals like China and Pakistan, protecting maritime vessels and keeping maritime pathways safe from piracy and terrorism-related threats. It is also a display of the country's rising military prowess and part of India's strategy to become a global power.